Hi folks and welcome to another edition of Military Media Bullshit. I'm your host, The Salty Seaman. Now, we can't just talk about movies and TV when we talk about, especially if we're including media. We can talk about toys as well. Uh, as a longtime collector of Transformers and any fan of my channel knows, you know, I'm a huge fan of that and they of course do a lot of military stuff as well as, of course, G.I. Joe. But how do these toys stack up to realism? Now, I grant there has to be some concessions made for playability and scale isn't always going to work. But sometimes there's just failure at all areas that there can be. And sometimes they get a lot right, even given the uh, parameters they have to do. This is Flattop, a MicroMaster uh, aircraft carrier from late in the G1 Transformers line. It is supposed to be an aircraft carrier. Can you even tell that by looking at it? Its other mode is apparently a super gigantic uh, cargo ship, or cargo uh, aircraft. But leaving that aside, let's stick to the aircraft mode here. Uh, first thing off, let's look at that island. That is supposed to be the island right there. And you look in scale in comparison to the flight deck and the rest of the size of this aircraft carrier, that is extremely tiny. Like, where are, is this uh, hosted by ants? Uh, insert your Zoolander joke here. Uh, it, it is way, way, way too small for an island. It should have been slightly bigger. Uh, I mean slightly, I mean a lot. Then we go up to the, uh, to the actual flight deck. We see, uh, you know, fairly, it, it, the, there's a, the sculpting is out of place for transforming. We'll let that go. And you got the tracks for uh, landing here. And what do you got here? Not even a small indentation for where the uh, the cats should be, or the uh, the hooks should be. Wires, I'll get it right at some point. Uh, but that, that's something they did address on the newer version, which will be my next review, which also has issues, but right now we'll look at that. Now here we see the uh, what I guess is supposed to be the cats, and we only have two as opposed to four. Uh, the positioning isn't terrible, but the ending is somewhere a little too close to the edge. You know, I could see this, you know, the length is, is okay, but, you know, this this could lead to uh, planes just being, you know, catapulted into the drink here, which would be terrible. Uh, we move down here, we have these, of course, absurdly large cannons, which no aircraft carrier has. Uh, what are... What, where are the catwalks? Where are the places for people to move around on the side of the ship for? Where, you, know, you know, how does the hangar bay handle these giant booming cannons? And probably the, uh, the shells are falling right into the hangar bay, probably knocking over several sailors and marines, just, you know, killing people every time they fire off. You know, it's a poor design for an aircraft carrier. That's why they don't have giant cannons on the side. Uh, overall, the design, uh, it is very vaguely an aircraft carrier. I mean, if, you, if someone told you, you're like, okay, I see it. But in terms of if you'd never seen it before, had no idea, you know anything about the military, and someone just threw this block in front of you and said, you know, here's a transformer, I think most people would look at it and go like, what is that? Because it's not very obvious right off the bat. Now, okay, I, I'm being a little mean here for 1980s uh, engineering for a toy that turns into three different things, but this thing is very vaguely an aircraft carrier. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of a poor excuse, and when you look at size, the fun thing is playability between your toys, and they're, given this size, I mean, yes, you can put a few of the uh, MicroMasters on here, but they'd be, complete, they'd be hugely out of scale. You know, there, there's nothing small enough to put, like, 20, 25 uh, scale size transfor tr transforming planes on here. You basically could put four or five MicroMaster planes on here. You know, that's being generous. So overall, poor execution in trying to represent a uh, aircraft carrier of any kind of military, mil uh, U.S. or not. Uh, next toy review I will do, will uh, I'll review the ver brand new version of this toy. Uh, it's been updated, it's a little closer, 
but it's got its own issues as well. We'll take a look at that. Uh, my next transform, my next uh, military movie will be. I'm looking at GI Jane. Hopefully, maybe coming out this week. Maybe next week. We'll take a look at it. Anyways, that's all I got to say for the self-esteem. I love you guys and peace.